Okay, what we've got here is the first model of a scale version of the Roman catapults. Um, the main structure is made out of one centimetre cross section, uh, so square, square cross section woods. Uh, the wood I'm using is uh, available to any primary school in England, in England at least. Uh, it's um, connected together with uh, using hot glue and with cardboard triangles. Now, if we're looking carefully from the cross section, uh, we've got a, a long thin tr uh, triangle on the back which gives the arm, arm some support when all the force goes through. On the front we've got smaller triangles, that's just to give it some sort of structural strength. So on the top here, we've got the firing arm. Now, this is, this is supported at the bottom with some wooden skewers across the middle. You can see those holding it in place. Uh, I've used some hot glue on either side of the arm to stop it from sliding left and right when it's been pulled up by the rubber bands. So we look at the top bit here. We've got uh, two standard tacks you can get in any hardware store, one on either end. This holds a rubber band which is stretched around the back of the arm, which is what gives it the strength. Now the original Roman catapults had what looked like a ballista arm on them. So it would be had it would have had a piece of wood uh, stretched across to the um, front, much like a bow and arrow, and a piece of taut uh, wire or string across the back. Now what I've got here is a tack just to hold it in place and to stop it from moving around. So when we pull the arm back all the way to the back, it still holds itself in place. So right at the back of the firing arm, uh, I've just got a simple card cut out basket. Uh, the back of the basket is cut at 45 degrees, which gives the projectile a, a good range. Um, right at the back here, I've just got a couple of wire loops, which will hold the actual basket in place. Okay, so let's try firing something. So what I'm using to fire today is a simple card projectile. But first of all, we need to take our attack to hold the arm in place which will stop the rubber bands pulling the arm away too soon. Today's projectile is just a scrunched up piece of cards which we put in the baskets. As we let it go, let's see how far it goes. Now the rough scale for this uh, from the catapult to the door is about three meters. Uh, I've tried it with a marble, it goes a lot further. It also damages glass, so be careful with that. So we fire it, pull it back, here we go. Okay, the projectile goes about four or five meters for a scrunched up card. A marble goes anything up to 10 meters if you get the angle right. Uh, and this the strength rubber band. So uh, have fun. Have a go making one. If you want the dimensions, all you need to do is get in contact with me uh, using the links on the video. Thanks. Have fun.